Miss Cheerily. Has come to be your very special song pony. <gasps> oh my gosh, look! Big Mac? Yup. You have something stuck in your teeth. Yep. I need to get going, but it's always great running into a good friend. Yep. Do you think it just wasn't romantic enough? Maybe it was too romantic. <sighs> Either way, we failed. Oh, there's gotta be something else we could do. Oh! Oh my goodness, I didn't even see you there. I'm so, so sorry. Uh, it's okay, Twilight. It was an accident. I've just been reading the most fascinating book about Hearts and Hooves Day. Did you know that this holiday got its start because of a love potion? Did you say a love potion? That's right, it even has the recipe. I don't suppose we could borrow that book for a little while, do ya? Of course you can. I have another book here that I think you'll... <laughs> Take a tuft of cloud. A bright rainbow's glow. Stir with a pegasus feather. Hey! Not slow. Serve to do ponies who aren't in the know. I feel kind of bad tricking my brother and Miss Cheerily this way. What's the problem? We all agree these two are perfect for one another. Yeah, they just need a little nudge. And what could make them happier than being together, right? Right. Oh, oh, here they come. Hi, Miss Cheerily. Hello again, girls. Hello, Big Mac. Would you three like to tell us why it was so very important that we meet you here? Punch! Excuse me? Punch! We made Punch. We were gonna set up a stand and try to sell it, but <laughs> we needed some pony to taste test it first. Yep. We thought you two would be perfect together. To test it. Together. So, uh, we'll just leave you two alone. Together to test it. <laughs> I'm very sorry about this. I mentioned to the girls that I don't have a very special sun pony, and I believe they're putting us in these awkward situations because they've decided it should be you. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose we should just humor them for a moment. Uh, this punch does look delicious. Yep. I think they're gonna drink it. To good friends. They're drinking it. They're drinking it. <laughs> they're looking into each other's eyes. <laughs> they're, they're about, about to, to be in for a big surprise. Big Mac? Yup. Will you be my very special sun pony? Yup. Yes! He's a special sun pony. She's a special sun pony. He's my special sun pony. <laughs> yup. Aww. He's my schmoopy doopy sweetie weedy pony pie. You're my schmoopy doopy sweetie weedy pony pie. Did he just say? You're my cutie patootie lovey dovey honey bunny. You're my hearty smarty spooky woochy baby wordy. Of Nightmare Moon, who makes you wary? Every year, 
We put on a disguise to save ourselves from her searching eyes. <coughs> but Nightmare Moon wants just one thing. To gobble up ponies in one quick swing. <coughs> Hungrily, she soars the sky. If she sees no pony, she passes by. So if she comes and all is clear, Equestria is safe another year. Oh, Miss Sakura, if we wear costumes to hide from Nightmare Moon so she won't gobble us up, how come we still need to give her some of our candy? A perfect question, my little friend. For Nightmare Moon, you must not offend. Fill up her belly with a treat or two so she won't return to come eat you! what your princess desires, not screams of terror. <laughs> Madam Mayor, thy princess of the night hath arrived. <laughs> change her back to good. But it seems like she's having some trouble adjusting after being gone for a thousand years. Princess Luna? Hi, my name is Star Swirl the Bearded. Commendable costume. Now we even got the bells right. Thank you, finally! Some pony who gets my costume! Uh, I just came to welcome you to our celebration. My actual name is... Twilight Sparkle. It was thou who unleashed the powers of harmony upon us and took away our dark powers! This was my nest in my house! And now I have to start from scratch! But I, I thought it would make you happy. Happy! Happy! I... I just need some time alone. Hmm. How's the sleepover rarities going? Why, it's smashing! Huh? I just wish we could do something special together that didn't include me goofing anything up. Oh, the sister who's social! 
Applejack and I do it every year. You and Rarity can compete against other sister teams in all these neat events. <gasps> that sounds like the perfect way for us to hang out. Rarity will think it's an excellent idea. What a ridiculous idea. A contest at Sweet Apple Acres. It doesn't sound very clean. So what, now you're back to hating messes? Sweetie Belle, watch your tone. I am still your big sister. Right, and any sister who cares about her sister goes. Sweetie Belle, honestly, playing silly little games in the dirt is just uncouth, with or without a sister. Well then, maybe, maybe I'll try the sister of social without a sister. In fact, I think I'll try the rest of my life without a sister. <gasps> oh, I'm the one who's ruining your life. Really? Have you looked around this place? I'm the one who would be better off with no sister. Well, it looks like we finally agree on something. Neither of us needs a sister. Deal! Deal! Goodbye, hun, sister. Sisterhood Social was on coop? Yeah, on coop. <coughs> Wait, what's on coop? It's not just the social. She thinks I'm on coop. Honey, Rarity thinks everything's on coop. What's on coop? It means uncivil, you know, bad mannered. <coughs> exactly. Sweetie Belle, just give Rarity some time. She'll come around. Sisters always do. Not sisters like Rarity. Come on now. Apple Bloom and I got some chores to finish up on. Maybe you can help. You sure you want me to help? I just mess everything up. Oh, come on. That's just stinking thinking. Watch. <laughs> Good catch there, Apple Bloom. <laughs> Since we can't sell the bruised apples, we gotta collect them all for the pigs to eat. It's a lot of work, so we make a game of it. Wanna try? Um, okay. Ow! <laughs> You're right, it is hard work. That's why we do it together! <laughs> Weirdy never wants to do chores together. Ugh. All that work ruined! Thanks to Sweetie Belle. Oh my, it's usually a big mess in here. <gasps> I do! This is genius! I shall call it Full Spectrum Fashions. Why, if Sweetie Belle hadn't. <clears throat> no matter, she still shouldn't have touched my things without permission. Hm. Treat from Sugar Cube Corner will cheer you up. No, it won't. A party will cheer you up. No, it won't. A lovely new shampoo will cheer you up. No, it won't. Come on, Apple Bloom. It's just a cutie mark. Or lack of a cutie mark. Shh, that's not helping. Apple Bloom, where are you going? Apple Bloom, come back! Whoa! Oh. 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 Well, who is it that we have here? Why, it's Apple Bloom, my dear. What has happened to you, you? Ah, you've gone and chipped your tooth. Come with me. I have just the trick that will fix you up quite quick. I tried everything, Decora, and still no cutie mark. Well, I'm gonna be as old as Granny Smith and still have a blank slate. Your frustration is well understood, but one must be patient for all things good. I've heard that from every pony I know. And now from every zebra I know. I'm just too impatient to be patient. 
I just want my cutie mark and I want it now! For your cutie mark, you will have to wait. We must fix that tooth before it's too late. Now, drink down every little drop, and this mixture will mend that chip on top. Oh, my star apples, you did, Sakura! Golly, you love tonics that heal all sorts of ailments. Bad bones, bad back, bad breath. Yes, little one, it is true. I have many a healing brew. And not only stuff that fixes the bad, but stuff that brings the good. Good health, good hair, good heavens! Hmm. I bet you can mix up a brew to fix anything. There are many mixtures in this room, but none for what you want, dear Apple Bloom. A magic potion does not hold the key. For a cutie mark, time is the only remedy. Fine. What you got going on there? I am brewing up another mix for a rooster and his chicks. Seems the rooster has lost its crow, making mornings very slow. Hey, I've seen that flower blooming in Ponyville. What is it? It is one we call Heart's Desire. A dash will ignite the rooster's fire. With Heart's desire, his talent comes into view, and he'll give a mighty cock-a-doodle-doo. Sowie! Heart's desire, huh? I mean, but what is this? I've run out of amethyst. I must go get this purple flower for my brew to have full power. Yeah, you go, you go. all you can do, huh? competition, so I'm going to have to take some points off. <sighs> Listen, turtle. Tortoise. Whatever. You've had your fun, but I think you and I both know who made the cut and who didn't. You didn't. You gave 
gave it your best shot. Maybe I've got a gold star sticker around here somewhere you can have, but seriously, go home. You're starting to creep me out. So, anyway, you're all outstanding competitors, but there can only be one of you who's number one. So the final tie-breaking mm. contest is going to be... Pause for dramatic effect. A race against me through Ghastly Gorge! Dun dun dun! Kazoo Knight. Actually, Ghastly Gorge isn't scary. It's fun! <laughs> I've flown through it a million times myself, so uh, obviously I'll be at the front of the pack. But whichever of you make it across the finish line with me will have proven you can keep up with me and will have earned the honor and glory of getting to be my pet. Ready? Set, go! Pony, it was really no big deal. To me, it was. You're my hero, Rainbow Dad. That Rainbow Dash sure is something. Something special. Words, and I bet modest is not one of them. No, but she is kind of awesome. thing might be going to Rainbow Dash's head. You may be right, silly. And then I zoomed into the well. I knew it would be dark and dangerous, but I didn't let that stop me. Danger's my middle name, Rainbow Danger Dash. Thinking back on it, I acted pretty awesomely heroic that day. That day. Awesomely heroic that day and awesomely arrogant ever since. Mm-hmm. Hey, Apple 
Applejack. How would you like to be immortalized as my friend? Immortal what? Are you taking notes? Yep, I've been hoof picked by Rainbow Dash herself to write her autobiography. Um, autobiographies are supposed to be written by the pony they are about. Maybe for your normal run of the mill ponies. But I'm far too busy saving lives to stop and write. That's why I hired Spike as my ghostwriter. Ah! I say, that's one way to make an introduction. Oh, goodness. I am so sorry. I, I didn't see you there. I I've just got so many bags, and I was trying to get back to my suite at the castle, and... You're staying at the castle? Oh, the, the princess invited me to stay in one of the suites. You know the princess? Hmm, a pony with expensive tastes, I see. Oh, it's for an ensemble I'm making for a friend. Her birthday's in a few days. Again, I'm really sorry I bumped into you. I'm not. <laughs> you are obviously some pony worth bumping into. Listen, I have a VIP box reserved at the Wonder Bolts Derby this afternoon. Would you, would you be so kind as to join me and a few of my companions there? Hmm? Me? But of course, my dear. Well, I, I'm, uh, uh, no, sure. We'd love to see you there. Uh, uh, Rarity. Rarity. Seeing the Derby from a VIP box is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Con! Going to the Derby cuts into the amount of time I have to finish Twilight's outfit. Pro! Fancy Pants is the most important pony in Canterlot. His stamp of approval could mean big things for me here. Con! Twilight's party might not be as sophisticated as the Derby, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't put all of my energy into creating her birthday ensemble. My Ponyville friends will appreciate my hard work more than any pony. I hate to let them down. I won't. Opal, I am going to the Wonderbolts Derby as a guest of Fancy Pants. Be sure to take home the grand prize. Mm -hmm. I don't think he has a chance against Fleetfoot. No! And it's Fleetfoot for the <laughs> Bravo, Rarity! I say, how did you know Fleetfoot would be victorious? And Rainbow Dash talks about her all the time. She says what Fleetfoot lacks in size, she makes up for in speed. And who is this Rainbow Dash? Uh... Why, she's... She's the, the Wonder Bolts. Trainer, of course. Staying at Canterlot Castle, and she knows that Pegasus is training the Wonder Bolts. I told you all this was an important pony. Oh, oh, lovely. Lovely. Really. Three cheers for Rarity, my new favorite party guest. What's happening to me, Twilight? I don't know. Think back to last night. Did something happen? Spike, what did you do after I saw you? Well, I went to talk to... Spike! Huh? You went to talk to who? Oh, um, I don't remember. Hey, can I have that globe? You're not using it, right? Huh? What about this book? Spike, I'm worried.
worried about you. You're usually not so grabby. My arms aren't usually this long either. What's happening to me? Well, now, what seems to be the problem? This is Spike. And something's wrong with him. He used to be half this size, and he keeps trying to take things that aren't his. All right, then. Let's just have a look-see, shall we? Will guy not feeling too good? Who's the brave real boy? Huh? Who's the brave one? So? What do you think, Doctor? Well, I think I know what the problem is. He's a dragon! That's not the problem. He's always been a dragon. Oh, well, that would explain it. Listen, I don't know anything about dragons. I know about baby ponies. Maybe you should try a vet. Uh, okay. Thank you, Doctor. Hm. Well, I'm flummoxed. You bring me a dog, I've got it diagnosed in seconds. A snake even faster, but... To be honest, I've never seen a real live dragon before. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Sit. Thanks anyway. Come on, Spike. is starting to mature. Of this fact, I am quite sure. Mature? So he's just growing up? But that doesn't explain why he keeps grabbing things. A dragon's heart is prone to greed. A steady diet to make growth speed. Then the resulting bigger size only makes their hunger rise. If this trait should go unchecked, if Spike continues to collect, more growth will certainly occur. He is going to turn into a monster. You mean, the more things a dragon collects, the bigger and greedier he gets? But how do we stop him before he's completely out of control? If his monstrous ways you wish to impede, you must prevent him from practicing greed. This amazing broom. Spy! What? <laughs> 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 